Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 72 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. We just recruited Mikshu Ana and we get to now go tell everybody in the castle what's up in... Alright, so, of our head keys near gather together the more important people of the castle. So I guess these guys are the representatives of the beastmen and the civilians and the knights. Or something. There are three guys. How can you care about this? So what happened in the battle and our plan from now on is we get to convey to these guys. Alright, thanks for coming everyone. The reason I called you here was to talk about how our plan to go to the God's Haze has changed. So allow me to talk about all this crap. So, this seems like a pretty serious conversation. Is it really alright for Fia, who is also a pretty important person in the castle, to not be participating? Well, yeah, of course, we can't show her to other guys. Oh, wait. No, Avara says that she has seemed a little tired today, so he decided to have her rest. Io, Mikheu, and Rosaline are all resting as well. Rosaline would be useful, I think. So, for this particular discussion, we have Kisnir and Rishu with us. Deet's going to tell, talk to his family and his vanguard. Well, now, for such a lively girl to get tired, this must be a bad conversation. Yeah, it's serious. It's probably going to surprise you. Alright, let's hear it. Now that they think about it, the direction the castle is going has been kind of clear, but they haven't been strongly conscious of it. Alright, so here we go. This is about Fia's true nature as a present god being recognized by Masteria and Guadalcuna as being a dangerous existence. Hmm. It looks like he's keeping the taboo bit undercover even from these guys. So in order to fix everything up again, we're going to the God's Haze. So that much hasn't changed. Our reasons are a bit different. But it's still going to be a dangerous journey. So Oh, so it's gotten that bad, huh? So they all have their own reactions. So yeah, if you look at the castle as a tactical weapon, it is pretty damn dangerous. Now, we of Infra's kingdom probably would act the same as Monasteria. So yeah, Oh, now that we talk about it, this thing crushed the outer wall of a city once. So we better to be careful. It's pretty harsh. Ha, huh, etc. Something Avaro didn't say was that fear was sealed inside the castle and that the castle is taboo. Yeah. If he 
publicizes that too much, it would be pretty bad. So, going to the holy ground, the God's Haze, wasn't any kind of pilgrimage, was it? Right, you may have heard more rumors, but it's simply something that Fia wanted to do. But unlike how it's been up to now, we should be able to find a solution to the castle problem. Nah, he doesn't get it. If we get to the holy ground, does that solve the problem? Uh, yes. Well, I've always been totally certain. But he has to believe that. So what's this about the journey being dangerous? I mean, even up to now, people have come and attacked. Well, since Fia has been recognized as one of the present gods, the problem has become more serious. That's right. There is one present god heading into the holy ground of another. Overlooking for the moment that Meek Shan is doing the exact same thing. Alright, sure. Okay, so. Heading into another god's territory, huh? Yeah, that is pretty brazen. Well, yeah. And we're definitely not sightseeing. We know we shouldn't be doing it, so we decided to come tell you guys. And it's not the Fuchsia faith alone either. We also got Masteria's eyes on us. <laughs> <laughs> so that child was a goddess. It was true that whole time. This particular guy had always thought it a joke. I mean, she was so friendly with the commoners and everything. So her being a goddess and everything, still interacting with people as equals, and furthermore, moving the entire fripping castle and laughing by your side and everything. Yeah, that's quite the Interesting juxtaposition, isn't it? Alright, so... What you brought us all here to talk about isn't over, is it? No. Let's move into the thing we really wanted to do. So... He wants everybody to consider whether you'll get off Guadalcuna Castle or not. Of course, if you stay, we're going to do our best to protect you, but we can't promise that we'll be able to. According to our circumstances up to now, or let Avara take that back, up to now, we didn't really understand our circumstances fully. But now that we do, and we understand a bit more about the danger, we understand it's not just us who is taking on the problems. So, so yeah. So, 
in other words. Avaro and company don't want to draw these guys into their problems. So, if you want to get off, now's the time. Exactly. That is also something I feel once. If the castle is going to go through all these troubles, she doesn't want everybody to get in, drawn into it. But we do vow that if you return, remain, we'll use all our power to protect you. And if you leave, we'll do our best to support you in that as well. Yeah, that's pretty feel-like, isn't it? Okay. So our answer is, we'll answer later. Later? That's right. This is a really important conversation, so we can't just decide here and now. So we're going to go and talk to everybody. Is that all right? Yeah, I don't think, don't know what Avar was thinking, asking these three people to decide for the, all the residents of the castle right now. I mean, calling these guys representatives or whatever. Okay. That'll be fine. Take your time if you want to. So, when you've decided, be sure to do whatever. And remember that we can't promise to perfectly protect you. Alright, I've always said his piece, so... We're probably done for now. So, what Avaro wants you to do is to consider, first and foremost, your own safety. Please. Yeah. Alright, we got it. Understood. He'll go tell the knights. And the beast man guy will also go talk to his people. He can't decide it all by himself. Okay, so raise up your head, Navarro. You said what you needed to say and we get it. So, we'll decide what to do and let you know. Bye-bye, male peoples. If you're going to stand in front of my face and talk, you should at least have names. So, remember the other two that Avaro said were here in the meeting? Oh, yeah. Alright, Risha says good job to Avaro. Says he did really well. Heh, <laughs> thanks. But Avaro doesn't have experience doing this kind of thing. He was a bit scared. If he had been a charismatic, charismatic type like Rishu, he thinks it would have gone over better. <laughs> well, she disagrees a bit. Since he has more of a humble attitude, it came across better. Her opinion is that Avaro did very well. And if it were her, her opinions may have overpowered the, their better judgment 
due to her charisma or whatever. I can't really think back on any time when she's done that sort of thing, but okay, if you say so. Well, thanks. Oh, was there someone else in this meeting? Why didn't they say anything while the guys were here? Are they afraid of men? <laughs> anyway. Avo! You should rest now. If you work yourself until you fall, until you pass out, Fia will be really upset. Oh, of course, all of us will be. So, don't try and take everything on yourself. If you got anything you need discussion of, come to us. We're your allies and we're always on your side. Heh. <laughs> Thanks a lot. He'll do that. Alright, so Kisnu is going to go to the Knights and show her face about. They've got the message, but they know her too, so she'll... It may reassure them somehow. Anyway, it won't do any harm. Alright, thanks, you do that. And Avaro, before going to rest, is going to check on Fia. Rishu is going to come along. Fia was terribly startled by all of every everything today. So, Rishu's going to offer her support as well. So, we've conveyed what we needed to to the residents. Now it's our problem. So, there's a lot of stuff we need to do as we head towards our destination. And we still have to get moving in a steady pace. And as they go to Fia's room, Avaro thought back to when they first met. They were just overflowing with hope for the future. And they didn't have any responsibilities to others, so they were going about with a rather innocent outlook. Man, this has gotten serious over time. Back then he was just thinking about getting his own workshops. And he was so happy about it. He wasn't totally prepared for all that we've gone through. But he's her apostle now. Now that she's going through these tough times, he's got to be there for her. So, in order to save Fia from this taboo nonsense, we have to find some way to sever her from the castle. And that will do for today. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.